We're going to uh, move down now and look at uh, cultural industries, um, which is up slightly, very slightly, 2.5 percent from last year's budget. But we've got to take this in context to what happened the year before that. So it's, it's um, I'm sorry, from this year's budget, the one that we're in, but it's down still 10 million uh, from the previous year, 09-10. Um, so they have not, none of these ones have recovered back to where they were. They took a huge hit and they're getting a, a little bit back in, in a lot of cases in this budget. Um, so under uh, cultural industries, can the uh, minister provide a breakdown of where the, sp the funding is going, in particular um, how much is going to film and television. Now he'd mentioned the 18 million uh, and there may be an opportunity there to explain a bit more of, about that or perhaps it's still just the 18 million. Um, now I, I noticed that in the business plan on page 42, um, there, there are two of the three priority initiatives are um, relating to the AFA application process. Um, 1.1 1 .1 is refining the Alberta Foundation for the Arts application process to improve efficiency, transparency, and accessibility. Uh, and the um, second one is the, um, uh, yeah, um, and the second one is the um, 1.2, increase the use of peer assessment to foster artistic excellence, promote organizational health, and ensure transparency. Um, so I'm wondering where the funding to support those initiatives turns up in this budget. What line item is it under? Um, and I'm wondering if there's funds being taken from artistic support programming to support uh, the implementation of, of these, uh, those two priority uh, goals, they call them. Um, and I'm also wondering, oh no, that question will come later, sorry. So that's one series on, under cultural industries. I'm going to uh, keep moving and look at the uh, funding for uh, the Alberta Foundation for the Arts. Um, now this funding, I actually can't quite tell if it went up or down because depending on where you look at it, you get slightly different numbers somewhere between 26 million and change and 27 million and change. Um, but the administration is budgeted at the same level as the 2010-11 forecast and that's 41% that's uh, uh, up um, and 49% and up from the previous year. So again, I'm seeing administration costs go up a lot but direct delivery of grants to artists and arts organizations is either stable a little bit up or a little bit down. So I'm wondering why administration has had to increase by almost half as much again uh, twice uh, uh, coming into the 10-11 um, year and then the 11-12 year that we're talking about here. Um, and I'm, I'm also looking to confirm that the administration num uh, numbers are coming under uh, vote 2.4. Um, it's saying assistance to the foundation for the arts, but I know from those numbers that actually is the foundation for the arts. So if there could be clarification, please, around how that actually breaks down. Uh, now, one of the issues that came up last year um, was uh, the timing, and at the time of the debates, I raised it with the uh, with the minister, because in response to a number of, of uh, questions where I was looking for particular details, the minister's response was, "Well, we're we're deciding that, we're working on it, we'll figure that out in May June. We're having consultations," which puzzled me because the way I was taught to do a budget, you had to know what the numbers were to actually project the budget. And this seemed to be more of a, well, we'll put this number in here and then we'll kind of figure out what we're going to do. And the results of this was, and, and uh, he did appear to consult uh, the groups in May, June, um, but I was hearing from groups over the summer that they still had not received their checks. And in some cases, weren't too clear on exactly how much money they were going to get. And that became very problematic because they had been warned, yes, the previous summer that there might be terrible cuts coming, but not to worry, don't do anything because maybe there won't be cuts. So they didn't quite make the moves because they weren't too sure and they were instructed by um, department staff to, you know, 
uh, not, not do anything drastic to wait, but then they waited and waited and waited, and they waited past the budget, they waited past May, June, and some of them into, as I say, the summer, um, to find out exactly what their budget was, and, and for a couple of them, this was really difficult, uh, because by the time they found out they'd had a 15 or 16, in one case a 19% cut, they were already uh, well into their year. So. Um, I'm uh, wondering what uh, the minister is doing to improve uh, the um, certainty of the grant amounts that are going to um, both artists and uh, through the grant programs and whether there is um, a process for uh, both um, indicating the amounts and delivering the grants uh, faster. Uh, I'll give you an opportunity to answer those. The Honourable Minister. Okay, what was the first one? Uh, I think the f answer to the first question was uh, out of 2.3, um, how much was for the Multimedia Development Fund? And that was um, in this budget, I believe, is 18.3 million. And that's an increase uh, from 16.5 million in the last fiscal year. And we thought that was important to be able to do that because there are going to be an increase in the number of productions that we're going to have in Alberta in this coming year, and we wanted to be able to support that. Um, with respect to uh, item 2.4, uh, and you had mentioned the increase in um, funding um, for other initiatives, and you wondered if that, came, if that was a, a administrative in nature, and if they were coming out of, out of the program funding. And the thing is, they are all coming out of, that is coming out of administration. There is no increased uh, administrative expenditures to be incurred by our department for those, for those initiatives. And that will come out of the existing dollars, which I believe was uh, under program support in 2.1, it's uh, $748,000. Now, under administration, the AFA, you will have a line on page 94. If you look at page 94, um, the expense there of $1.278 million. Can I just flip this in here? Why is that different? This is the, the grant to the foundation, and this is spending on the foundation. All right. So this is grant. And, and I, I, I stand corrected. The 740 that I said was actually for administrative grants. The 1.2 is actually administration of all the other different um, program. In response to um, the uh, performance measures, those priority initiatives, and that's how, how the, the funding of those, I think we are, I've addressed that. They'll come out of those other uh, administrative dollars. And you had made a reference to cuts that were made, or the, that uh, organizations felt that they were uh, they didn't know what was going to happen after uh, the, uh, the budget last year, and they didn't find out until July. From what I can remember, our our AFA um, grants to those organizations always came out about that same time frame, and. Um, uh, But I'm, I'm told this year we'll be giving the groups in advance while the board reviews their allocation for the groups. So they will uh, find out, um, uh, they will get an advance, and that will um, imagine what occur after April 1st, and then they will receive the balance of their uh, funding in, uh, in July. And since we have no further reductions in funding for this coming fiscal year, I think most of those groups should feel fairly confident that they will receive the amount that they received last year. And I think that answers all.